Hello and welcome to my bioinformatics tutorial series. Uh, in today's tutorial, uh, I'll be showing how to use Philippe or a phylogeny interference package to construct or build phylogenetic trees. So uh, the first thing uh, to do before uh, making uh, a phylogenetic tree is uh, of course having a multiple sequence alignment. And uh, a multiple sequence uh, or a good multiple sequence alignment will uh, give us for sure an accurate phylogenetic tree. So if you want uh, more information about uh, uh, bioinformatics in general or uh, uh, phylogeny or uh, phylogenetic trees, multiple sequence uh, tutorials about how to use the cluster W software to make uh, multiple sequence alignments, uh, you can uh, check uh, my uh, uh, log at bioinformatics-made-easy.blogspot.com in uh, the phylogeny category. Uh, in uh, this blog you'll find uh, also uh, a post called uh, how to prepare your sequences for full genetic tree because uh, you have to prepare uh, your uh, sequences uh, to do a multiple sequence uh, alignment and uh, then uh, construct a full genetic tree. And in this uh, post, I will uh, show you what to do and what uh, to avoid, etc. So, uh, the main uh, mistake that uh, bioinformaticians uh, do uh, is uh, that they uh, think uh, the tree, uh, the tree uh, produced by the cluster W, for example, on the EBI uh, web server, is uh, for genetic tree. Well. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, you can only reproduce a guide tree with cluster W, but uh, this tree is only a guide tree that cluster W uses to assemble the multiple sequence alignment. So don't count at it because it's not a phylogenetic tree. Okay, and of course it will uh, give you a false result. So uh, let's begin with a short introduction. In a phylogenetic analysis, we have three methods in building phylogenetic trees. The first one is the distance methods, and the second one is the parsimony methods, and the third one is the likelihood methods. Uh, specialists uh, in uh, the field of bioinformatics or evolutionary bioinformatics uh, prefer uh, the third one, which is the likelihood methods, because uh, these methods are uh, the most accurate one. Uh, and uh, the but uh, the main uh, problem, or uh, the only problem with them, is uh, that they run uh, very slow. And of course, uh, that's not a problem if you're uh, seeking uh, for accuracy. So, uh, Philippe is, uh, or a phylogeny interference package, is uh, considered as uh, one of the most accurate packages in uh, calculating trees. So, uh, it's uh, a must-have if you are a bioinformatician. Because also most uh, specialists uh, prefer uh, Philippe for uh, building the uh, phylogenetic trees. So, to access uh, the phylogeny interference package or Philippe, we go uh, to Google as uh, usual and we type Philippe and we hit enter. Okay, uh, phylogeny interference package here is uh, at the second hit, which is uh, hosted on the bioweb.pasturebot.fr. But uh, we have to click on the second one, Phylogeny, because it's the, the English uh, version. The first one is the French version. So we click on uh, Phylogeny. Okay, this is uh, our uh, packages. We have uh, a lot uh, of uh, choices here. We have, for example, the parsimony method programs. These are the parsimony method uh, programs. We have the computation of distance, distance matrix method programs maximum likelihood method programs, manipulation and visualization of phylogenetic trees, and other programs. So, uh, for example, in uh, the parsimony method programs, we have protpars, which is uh, for a protein sequences. But uh, this uh, program uh, works better with the closely related sequences. That's why uh, we're going to use the prodist which is a method that uses a substitution uh, matrix to measure uh, the distance between uh, your aligned sequences. So, uh, it says here that uh, it's for aligned protein sequences. Uh, 
I will click uh, Pro Dist. Wait a little for the program to load. Okay, this is our uh, program. Here uh, you can uh, paste your uh, multiple sequence uh, alignment produced by, uh, for example, pl a class of W. And uh, if you are uh, just uh, testing this uh, program, I advise you to go to this uh, web address which have uh, a test uh, alignment at uh, ttoffee.org. If you click uh, this uh, link, uh, you'll have here a, a really multiple uh, sequence alignment that uh, you can use uh, to test the software. But uh, if you have uh, your own multiple sequence alignment, you can use it. OK, we copy it and uh, paste it here. Okay, in the, boost, the bootstrap uh, options, uh, you may be asking uh, what's uh, bootstrap. Well, uh, I'll tell you, uh, just because your computer can uh, produce a tree doesn't necessarily mean that the tree is accurate or correct. This is uh, where bootstrapping comes in handy because the tree bootstrapping is a way to check whether your tree is biologically meaningful by assessing its robustness. So, uh, here uh, in the perform a bootstrap before analysis, we can check uh, this to perform a bootstrap before uh, analysis, of course. And uh, here we choose uh, bootstrap. Uh, in the random uh, number seed, and uh, it says here that uh, it must uh, be odd, we write uh, 3, for example, uh, and uh, the seed uh, controls the generation of random numbers during the bootstrap because it uh, generates uh, random numbers uh, during uh, the bootstrap. Uh, here, at uh, how many replicates, uh, we have to write at least 100 because uh, the number of uh, replicates is uh, the number of bootstrap cycles that you do normally, uh, that you do, of course. Uh, and uh, normally this uh, number uh, should be at least uh, 100. So, uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'll uh, be writing just two, because uh, uh, we're uh, just uh, testing uh, this uh, software. But uh, if you are, uh, if you have a multiple sequence alignment and you want uh, uh, a robust uh, or accurate uh, for genetic tree, you have to write at least 100. Okay, uh, we click uh, on run here and uh, we wait for the page to appear. So, this is our first uh, result page. Uh, this is uh, the first uh, section of uh, my uh, video tutorial. Uh, you have to check uh, the second uh, video to complete uh, this uh, tutorial. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.